Hello, hello, and welcome back for another alien and failure-filled shit show as Perfidious Pete plays XCOM The Long War. The only real question is, will this episode feature more aliens or failure? I mean, our last episode may have been too close to call in that respect since it featured a whopping 78 aliens and our pathetic performance only resulted in 18 dead thin men, which is pretty significant failure. Also, by my math, that means that somewhere in Egypt there were roughly 60 Mia Jovovich-style paralysis and non-consensual alien love encounters that probably resulted in roughly 59 traumatized Egyptians. Now, of course, the aliens were shooting for the sweep, hoping to go an even 60 for 60, but unluckily for them, one of the targets they picked just happened to be an alien fetishist, and rather than terrorize a victim, that alien actually unwittingly fulfilled a lifelong fantasy. So kudos for that lucky Egyptian, I suppose. Um, I also suppose there was failure on both sides of the equation, since, you know, one of those traumatization attempts resulted in gleeful joy. Which I guess makes last episode a draw? I think? Honestly, I don't know. I've lost count of the positives and negatives at this point. I'm just rambling. I'm not sure if one satisfied Egyptian makes up for a shipload of uncontested alien harvesting, but in the interest of total transparency, I'm just going to admit that I don't really give a shit. At this point, the only thing I really care about is capturing a live ethereal to toss in Dr. Valen's torture box. So I think in the interest of capturing that ethereal as quickly as possible, I'm just going to get to scanning. Oh, looks like we've also completed some psionic training. I guess that's fantastic. Reb Brown, an unexpected failure. Hmm, well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Reb. We are going to replace you with someone much more likely to get the job done. I happen to notice while scrolling through my soldier list recently that John Leguizamo's willpower is shockingly high. It's honestly the only explanation for why Jonathan Leguizamo, or John, or whatever his name is, Rat! I'm just going to call him Rat. It's really the only explanation for why Rat is uh, still working today in Hollywood. He just has uh, so much willpower that he won't give up. Just enough determination and stick to I guess, that uh, he can succeed despite, well, gross incompetence and uh, a generally hostile attitude. So, Host hostile towards John Leguizamo. Not that John Leguizamo has a hostile attitude, although he may. Entirely possible. John Leguizamo could be the meanest motherfucker walking around the planet. Like, you walk up to him and he just spits in your mouth, gouges out your eye, and then laughs while you weep blood. That, that could be the thing. I mean, I don't know John Leguizamo from Adam, so. Five sectoid commander corpses for two engineers. Not this time, Canada. Usually your offers are just so reasonable and pleasant that I have a difficult time saying no, but uh, this time, not that difficult, actually. Back to scanning, man. Looks like more psionic training is going to finish. Um, I'm not upset by this, and Tara Reed has succeeded. Words that may never have previously been spoken in the English language. Um, okay then. Actually, let's go take a look at Tara Reed very quickly. Um, she did succeed, which is shocking, but I'm curious how far we'll need to... Oh, uh, you know what that means, though. Oh, uh, that, was, that was not good. Terra Specter Reed did level up, but the the only the only side effect of that is now we gotta take Terra Reed on more missions. I don't want to take Terra Reed on more missions. I hate Terra Reed. I hate her so much. Oh, I hate her so much. And now we're we're gonna have to take her. Well, we could either chuck Reb Brown back in. Don't really like that. Or we could chuck Kesha back in. I think Kesha probably the better option. Yeah, let's uh, let's toss a little Kesha back in the pot, and uh, or I guess we're not tossing Kesha back in the pot. We're tossing Kesha in for the first time. Get old Kesha chucked into the psionic labs here, and see if we can get Kesha a little bit of mind fray. You know, mind merge has has potential. Gives a huge bonus critical chance. Will she could bolster, oh, say a Lindsay Lohan or someone. We don't actually have... You know what? We may need someone with Mind Merge, so I'm going to I'm gonna have Kesha. Wow, eight days? Really? And only a 48% chance of success? That's unfortunate. All right, then. Back to uh, back to scanning, then. We've got a council report coming up. Maybe we'll get a mission before council activities? Perhaps? Or not. That's also fine. 
So Justin Bieber also succeeding at a little psychic training. An unexpected success from the Biebs. Um, maybe this time, rather than Sesame Street, he watched something a little more violent. I guess they put a clockwork orange on for him this time, and uh, the Ludovico technique that we applied to Justin had more positive effects. I'm, I'm well pleased by that. I'm not sure if there's anybody else we actually want to stick back into side training. Now, let's take a look at the barracks just to sort of sweep it and make sure. Now, that also means that we're going to need to take the Biebs on more missions, but... That's not really a problem, because Biebs is a... He's a solid little trooper for us. He's done some good work. Some journeyman level. Miley Cyrus need to be psychic? I don't really think so. Also, I'd like to have assault troopers available sort of as often as possible. Man, Catherine Zeta-Jones, that critical wound you took really did a number on the willpower. You're, uh... Looking like a strong candidate to become a Goliath, perhaps. Also, I'm not... You know what? very seriously considering just making Catherine Zeta-Jones a Goliath right now. We did make her into an Overwatch gunner, which didn't turn out as positively as I had hoped. And you know what? I'm absolutely going to do that. So let's head to Engineering. Go to Augment a Soldier. We're going to chuck old Kathy Z here. You know, let's face it, Kathy. Hollywood has been good to you, but uh, it's been a very long, very, very long journey. Understood, Commander. And you're not quite we'll as young as you used to be, Catherine Laser Zeta-Jones. And, uh, well, your aged limbs are just gonna have a little bit of difficulty letting you slip sexily beneath the lasers, so... I think, perhaps, we're gonna chop them off and replace them with some newer limbs that maybe will be... a little more acclimated to... oh, sort of ground-based... uh, ground-based seduction attempts via robbery. Seriously, that may only be a seduction technique that works exclusively on Sean Connery, now that I think about it. Ah, uh, India? I don't want two scientists, and I want two engineers even less. But I also don't need three flight computers, and at this point I think I'm just going to say yes, so that someone gets what they need. I, I like to make people happy. I'm just, I'm a giving person, India. And, uh, you know. Okay. Alright, stop. We've got UFOs that are flying over the UK simply because they can I don't even have a satellite there so you know what I think we, we have a satellite right we do all right oh I can actually put 13 satellites in orbit all right well that being the case then let's let's flick a satellite over say Germany that's fine satellite launched and we can probably do something about that whole interceptor situation as well don't we have a firestorm that's being built we do not all right so let's uh Let's put some aircraft then over Europe. Thought I had another firestorm somewhere, do I not? Nanook, you're flying a firestorm, right? You are. I think you're gonna be the uh be the chief killer in our European command, as it were. And let's get you I don't know, let's get one more interceptor over there on backup. We have two firestorms over North America, so we can probably spare you let's say Sparrow. And we'll put him there as well. Both of those guys are being repaired, so we're not really out any coverage while that goes live. And that'll help us cover the UK, possibly pick up a few missions as well. Council report, then. I'm just so used to saying no to Germany. Well, really, what I should be saying is NINE! And I'm gonna do that, because I don't want two engineers. I would rather have the cash for selling thin men corpses more than I would rather have the engineers. Incoming transmission. So here's our council report. Optimus Prime is going to tell us we did a good job, even though I don't really feel we did that great of a job, to be fully frank. We... Oh, shut up, Optimus Prime. Your empty fucking praise means so little to me. I, oh, I can't even properly express the amount of contempt that I have for you right now. Just fuck off, Optimus. Just fuck right off. Remember... Uh, we will be watching. Yeah, your A makes me feel dirty, Optimus Prime. It makes me feel dirty. Don't talk to me. More side training. All right, then. So, John Leguizamo, and let's face it, for Leguizamo there, that was... There was no surprise that John Leguizamo has succeeded, and I don't think we have any more soldiers who could potentially benefit from psychic training to even throw in there, do we? Promotions available in the armory. Uh, who can we add here? We could send Chris Brown, whose willpower is effectively just terrible. 
Goodson and Joss Whedon. I don't really think we need the extra fatigue time. That's the sort of the break point here is anybody who we do make psychically active will gain additional fatigue time. Can we send Shia LaBeouf? We could. Neural feedback or side panic? Let's give him panic. And that's probably good for now. Are we? Are, well, we do have two more suits of Titan armor coming on in three days. So I'm rather excited about that. We have interceptors over Europe now, in addition, and we have a small UFO coming in low over Argentina. All right then. I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to take this down. Where is? Where's our little flatfish? Oh, this is South America. Never mind. I was thinking Flounder would be on the job here, but uh, Flounder actually not available. So let's send up Major Moose Kaitel here. Moose has proven himself more than capable when it comes to flinging a body in front of a small UFO. He roadblocks like nobody's business. I mean, the G.I. Joe roadblock only roadblocked maybe 10% as well as Moose Kaitel. When it comes to roadblocking, Moose has got that shit down cold. No ethereal shit. Well, we've still got to rate it, despite the fact that we... The only thing we're interested in is captures. We either need plasma rifles, heavy plasma rifles, or alive ethereals. None of which are going to be contained on this mission. Sectoid, mectoid, and drones. So it's going to be... Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Let's get a crew together. We can uh, go ahead and get this raided. Get it taken care of, mopped up. We don't need a seed. We won't need to uh, seed this party with particularly gifted troopers. We can probably get by with some Ur soldiers, although we are going to need some folks capable of killing a mectoid. We also need uh, somebody to lead this shit show. It's been a while since Mel Gibson's been out and about. Don't really like sending Mel. Could be. You know what? Let's uh, let's send Amanda the Man Bynes, who is not yet maximum rank, but is steadily closing in on it. Her invisible friend, Doctor Mister Jiggles, has been providing some solid advice to Amanda, keeping her on the straight and narrow path towards maximum rank. Before, oh, our Titan armor is not done. That's fine. What's our engagement zone look like here? Planes with light vegetation. No need for Banshee armor, then. We'll go ahead and give Amanda the more protective Aegis armor. Also, just a, a quick beef, little language faux pas that I have here with uh, Dr. Shen. He did build our Aegis armor, and I gotta say, Dr. Shen, did you really need to name it Aegis armor? I mean, Aegis means shield. Did, uh... Did the armor need to be called shield armor? I mean, that just that seems redundant. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, just a little beef. Maybe uh, could have called it something cooler. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's get an infantry guy. Lindsay Lohan is available, and like I said, we're going for the EXP. And this mission, if we can get some psychic abilities off with Lindsay, will be enough to level her. So we're gonna go ahead and take the low end. I know I don't necessarily like taking uh, Master Sergeant UFO or Master Sergeants rather on a small UFO mission, but we are going to make an exception here specifically because this is Lindsay. She is the one exception to the rule. We are bucking to try and make Lindsay into the volunteer if we can. That being said, if Tara Reed is available, we're going to send Tara Reed too. I know, I know, it's Tara Reed. Trust me, I hate sending her as much as you hate seeing me send her, but it has to be done. It just it has to be done. Also, Tara Reed benefits from regular EXP, too, so it's not a complete and total waste. Let's give her the pink can't-take-me-home alloy cannon. A battle scanner, because why not a battle scanner? We could give her a side grenade, too, at this point. I actually think I'm going to give her a side grenade. And then, of course, an arc thrower. Do we even need an arc thrower? You know, you know what? doesn't hurt. Let's take one. It, it couldn't hurt. There's a, a very small but definitively non-zero chance that we could have a, a, a potential capture target on the mission that simply wasn't listed. Because we know the hyperwave relator has completely been backed or hacked, that shit has more computer viruses than your grandfather or grandmother's laptop. Let's face it, the elderly are not exactly gifted when it comes to internet security. We could send Axel Rose on the mission because we hate Axel Rose and want to actively see him suffer. Do we have any fast, like really fast 
privates. We got Melissa Robinson. You know what? Melissa Robinson actually is not ter terrible. I think she may go on this mission. I really need more assault troopers. I mean, I desperately kind of need more assault troopers. Now, we are going to send a regular assault trooper, but I don't think we're going to send Axel Rose. Well... I mean, winning is right there in the name, and he's a little faster than Axel. I mean, Charlie is... Charlie is not good. Let, let's face it. Charlie is not good. But he is better than Axel, so let's give him the walker servos, a little bit of breaching ammo. We could give him shredder ammo. I honestly don't really see the point. Um... High capacity mag is fine. That'll that'll complete his kit. A 13 mobility is not fantastic, but it's also not atrocious, so it's not a complete waste. Let's get ourselves a gunner. I, I, no, I don't need to send Joss Whedon. We don't need to send a Master Sergeant. If a Master Sergeant is not called for, there's no reason to send a Master Sergeant, so let's not waste, not waste resources here. Nicki Minaj is really our lowest ranking gunner? I'm surprised, but pleased, actually, because Nikki's a tech sergeant, so... That's coming along nicely. What should we give Nikki? Let's give her... Do we want to go full-on mobility build? I think we do. Let's go mobility this time for Nikki. We're going to give her a little bit of Plasma Nova gun, then she'll get a scope, of course. Scope. Probably a laser sight for Nikki as well, since she's going to be on the move, and a laser sight has increased critical... And let's face it, when you're Nicki Minaj, you focus on a target with laser-like efficiency and complete and total confidence. I mean, she sank starships, folks. They were meant to fly. Nicki knew that shit was a number one hit. The second she came up with the theory that starships were meant to fly, she really knew she was onto something. Alright, so we've got a sniper, infantry, scout, assault, gunner. Gonna need um, a medic. Yeah. Probably should take a medic, as well as an engineer. Or should we take... Should we go medicless and take a private with a med kit? That's an interesting choice. Do we have a medic who really needs psychic EXP badly? Biebs? Let's, you know what? We should send now. Let's save Bieber for something a little more important. We're not bucking to make Bieber the volunteer, so there's really no rush. John Ratleg Wazamo, however. His willpower is so good. It's so good. We could go without an engineer. That just seems like a terrible idea, though, because we know there's a mechtoid. Heat warheads are going to play it. All right, do we have a... Do I really want to take a private? Really kind of do. But I also want to take the rat. This is a tough call. Okay, here's the decision. Here's the, uh, the sort of tiebreaker. If we have an engineer who needs psychic EXP, or just an engineer that needs EXP, we'll take an engineer. We sort of don't, actually. It'd be Jennifer Lopez. Will Jennifer Lopez get a level if we send her on this mission? She absolutely will, but she doesn't have... Doesn't have heat warheads. But she could get heat warheads if we send her on the mission. Alternatively, we could potentially pick him. You know what? No, I'm not going to try and rank up a private at this point. That just seems... We'll, we'll get a corporal. At some point, we'll get the someone will offer us a corporal for a captive or some bullshit, and we'll just go that route. So we're gonna take Jennifer Geely Lopez. We'll give her again shield armor because shield and armor don't mean the same thing. No, no. I guess technically they, they actually don't. But anyway, so let's send Geely, and you know what? We're gonna take a medic as well. We'll take the rat, and we'll just try and have rat use any psychic abilities that uh, he gets a chance to. We'll have him. We'll have him fling him out there. So Aegis armor for Rat. We're gonna give him the Slim Shady Memorial Slug Slinger. His aim is not not that fantastic, but we can compensate for that since this is a small UFO. We don't exactly need to stockpile med kits. We can go ahead and give him a scope instead. And then for our finally, it's just gonna be a mech trooper of some variety. Effectively, anyone who needs experience, and that looks like Tiger Woods. Since Tiger's gonna be finally back on duty, did you have a nice little break there, Tiger? You did? Well, that's good. Did you get those metal hips replaced again? I mean, I know that's a problem for you. So, double proximity mine launchers, grenade launchers, Illyrium turbos, Tiger Woods locked and loaded, ready to roll. Fresh balls in the bag, a new caddy hired for the mission. 
Tiger's pulling out the driver and stepping up to the tee, getting ready to smack that sucker straight down the fairway. Touching down. Although if you've seen Tiger uh, play lately, you know that smacking that sucker straight down the fairway hasn't exactly been his strong suit. It's been more like shanking that sucker square into the rough. It looks like the UFO went down Operation the Bloody Shroud. Area within the city limits. Uh, it's nice to see you're drunk as ever, Bradford, because this is clearly a densely populated area. I know I say that every time, but uh, I mean, I'm actually somewhat impressed by your ability to be drunk 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, a normal human's liver would have simply ceased to exist. It wouldn't have just gotten scarred with cirrhosis and shut down. I mean, it would literally have evaporated from inside your body with the volumes of alcohol that you can ingest on a daily basis. Your biology, sir, is somewhat remarkable. If anything, Dr. Valen should be studying you to try and figure out how to cure people who have alcoholism and have damaged their livers, because clearly you got some kind of, like, shark regeneration shit going on. Uh, but I digress. Let's uh, let's get somebody up here who can throw a battle scanner for us. We gave one to Tara Reed. Headed Might as well now. deploy it. So, Tara Reed, why don't you chuck a battle scanner? I don't know. Yeah, that actually looks reasonable. Throw it out in that direction. We've got Rat who can throw some for us, too. Anything we have encountered? Oh, there's a Mactoid over there. All right, so uh, for once, I, it's shocking as it is to say this, Tara Reed has actually done something positive. She revealed a Mectoid and what appears to be a pod of drones and sectoids. So let's get Tara Reed, or I'm not Tara Reed, rather. Let's get Amanda Bynes in position. Now, Amanda Bynes could pop that pod for us, but uh, we're actually not going to have her do that. We're going to have her hunker down. We're going to set up a nice little ambush. Or an ambush? An ambush. What I was trying to do was say ambush, and then I thought, oh, I'll say the more elaborate ambuscade so I can, you know, sound fancy because I do that. But uh, then I just fucked it up and sounded like a retard. That's what I get for trying to punch above my weight. Do we want to Overwatch? Yeah, it's fine. It's Overwatch. Now, we do want our engineer over near Old Tiger because uh, Moving out. what we're going to do is our patented heat warhead proximity mine sort of grenade detonation trick that uh, we've used a number of times and has... Uh, produced, honestly, some pretty damn good results for us. Off. We're effectively just going to try and set up a nice little overwatch lane of fire where I we can get... Target. Shit. God damn it, Lindsay Lohan. Way to fuck up the program, Lindsay. We had everything under control, and then you had to go and move one tile too far, and now this is, in fact, turning into a On legitimate shit show. So, well done, Lindsay. Well oh, done. Aye, aye. We now have a bunch of people in terrible positions as a result. Of your actions. I hope you're proud of yourself, Lindsay. I hope you're proud of yourself. Moving Plus, out. you didn't even get to use a psychic ability. Right. Overwatch right. then for old Charlie winning Sheen. I, I can't believe I actually brought him deliberately on a mission. Not that I, when I wasn't actually forced to do so from just any lack of a better option. So this guy's going to get uh, mind merged and, and tanked up into an unbelievable brood battle among... Man, my brain just broke down there for a minute. An unbelievable... B That's really hard to say. It's like a lot of B's and L's and all the liquids and the uh, bilabials are merging together to make a series of consonants that just can't be said. Also, that's the luckiest drone of all time. What I was trying to say is an unbelievably brutal killing machine. Again, this drone. Man, he's unhittable. At this point, I think he may be the red-brown of drones. That is the most effective drone of all time. It absorbed five shots of Overwatch and then came up and shot Tiger Woods right in the face. They're moving around the side. They're shifting their attack. They're repositioning. So here comes Johnny Mectoid. This guy's going to be fairly tough to take out. He did double move, so we've got that going for us. Watch the He's not going to be on Overwatch. Here comes a mind melded Sectoid. If he had advanced a little Thank further, we might have been able to catch him in the blast, but. No such luck. Alright, this actually should be... We should be able to deal with this. So we're just going to drop the proximity mine. I don't really feel there's even a need to move Tiger. He's in a okay position where he's at. We're probably going to have Jennifer Lopez fall back a little bit. Let's bring... You know what? Let's bring JLo back to this full cover. She'll be perfectly fine here and more than able to hit that tile with a grenade from this position. Better cover. It's just best for everyone. So here we go. 
This should at least get rid of the shield. Yeah, it also had the bystander blow of killing that drone, which is really good. It's a readily acceptable outcome. Nikki is not in a fantastic position as a result, but that's okay. We built her with the mobility build, so Nikki can move and fire. This guy does not have reactive sensors, right? I, I really don't want to shoot at him if he has reactive sensors. He has every ability known to man, but not reactive sensors. That's fine, then. Let's go ahead and light him up. Nikki, if you would be so kind. Good. Less good. Still, 13 damage is not nothing, so we're, we're not really going to complain. Lindsay, we need you to kill this drone. Actually, we need you to kill the sectoid. Killing the drone doesn't hurt, but the sectoid was actually what we needed. Um, go ahead and pop two rounds into that gentleman if you would. Acceptable output, Lindsay. That means we just need one damage. We can get that from basically anywhere. We're going to have the rat advance and use a psychic power because he can. I, I, no, I don't want him to hunker down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. John Leguizamo's gonna kill him with his brain. That is, uh, refreshing. I'm telling you, John Leguizamo's willpower, the man has the determination of, like, a, a, an Abrams tank. He just won't be stopped. It's really quite impressive. This is less impressive, Amanda Bynes. I mean, you're taking a shot because you got nothing else to do. Okay, well, uh, perhaps I was wrong, and it's more more impressive than I was giving you credit for. Good to go. Let's just have Sheen advance. If he sees no enemies, which he doesn't, we're just going to have him go on Overwatch. Um, Tara Reed, we should keep him company. Team Garbage Water there. Officially now named Team Garbage Water. It's Charlie Sheen and Tara Reed. It can't really get much worse than that. That was a double move. So, a little bit of skipper scamper here. Not sure what these guys are hoping to accomplish. That guy's just straight up in the open. Apparently, he wanted to be killed by Tara Reed. Which strikes me as possibly the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but... I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe he had some personal problems. He was having a little difficulty. I don't know. Wife left him. Things haven't been going well at the job. And, uh... Was feeling a little down and in a moment of desperation and uh, despair. He, he decided to take his own life. I mean, yeah, it happens. It's unfortunate, but, you know. We feel kind of bad for the little guy. Also, we we don't necessarily want to kill the next one because I'd, I'd like to mind control it if possible. Or at least get a get a chance at some mind control abilities here. Let's have Sheen run and gun. I also just don't want to leave people standing in the open and have them get shot by a sectoid, though, because that's rather shitty. Sheen has a shot. I mean, it's not a good shot, but it, it's a shot of sorts. Tara Reed's not going to be able to... You know what? Just fall back, Tara Reed. We were hoping to get you into range to maybe use one of those psychic abilities, but it just doesn't look like that's in the cards. I'm rolling. With Tara Reed, failure is always an option. That's that's just something one should keep in mind. You know what? Let's hunker down. We'll do a, a little overwatching, and... Uh, yeah, Amanda Bynes can overwatch. Tiger Woods wants you over with you. Well, Charlie, that's fine. Let's just let's just try and keep him down. We're gonna have Nicki Minaj repositioned very slightly. If she can't see him, we'll Overwatch. If he tries to run away, we'll we'll gun him down mercilessly in cold blood. That's fine. That Overwatch is is actually a positive thing. That'll give us a chance to uh, get some little mental work done. A little bit of training for our troopers here. A little bit of psionic training. This should pull the Overwatch. It did, in fact, pull the Overwatch. Tara Reed's lightning reflexes have proved shockingly reliable. Mostly because, uh... Well, Tara Reed is, is destined to be the volunteer, and thus... Wow, your chance of side panicking that guy are absolutely terrible. Your mind fray is not much better, so let's go for the panic. Oh, is he, Tara Reed? Because it didn't look that impressive from here. Maybe we're uh, maybe we're not seeing the same thing, Tara Reed. If you think maybe that's the what's the case? Is Leguizamo psychic now? I can't remember. Oh yeah, he just killed a man with his brain. Oh, it's also that ability's on cooldown. All right, no worries then. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. We don't. Uh, well, we need to, Lindsay Lohan still needs to get a, a power off. I mean, we failed, so that's not good. Let's just have Charlie Sheen go for the kill. 
Charlie Sheen would have to run and gun for that. Roger that. Oh, Charlie Sheen, you are such a disgrace. And I mean that in all seriousness, Charlie Sheen. You are actually a legitimate disgrace to your family. I'm sure they're ashamed of you on basically a daily basis. And if they're not, they really should be. They really should be. I just had Nicki Minaj move backwards, I think. My got disoriented there for a moment the way the map was set up. So let's begin advancing on the ship then. Um, most of the aliens should be dead. There are going to be at least two outsiders inside, and I think there may be another pod of something somewhere. Not entirely Aye. certain. We're not going to take any kind of super or any like supremely dangerous or risky maneuvers. We're just going to sort of play it. Cautious, advance on the ship, get ready to kick open the doors and raid it. Just classic door kick maneuver. Tiger Woods has double tap, really? Man, archers are pretty good. I know I give them a lot of shit, but they're actually okay. If they got repair servos, they'd be pretty damn sweet. They don't have a great health. And they take... We also missed a chance for some meld there. There's still a sectoid somewhere? I guess we didn't, we didn't get one. Or there's just more inside the ship, either way. With Charlie Sheen doing a little... Well done, Sheen. Well done, buddy. This may cost you your life, sir. You're, you're not in a good spot. Charlie Sheen is just standing in the open. Cover is for lesser men than Charlie Sheen. I mean, clearly that's that's what he was thinking. I'm Charlie Sheen. I don't need cover or caution or anything like that. That's just ridiculousness. Charlie Sheen is not... Uh, Headed there now. Charlie Sheen does not bother with such trifles. Such trifles are for lesser men than Charlie Sheen, clearly. But that that's not actually the case. Can you get a proximity mine out there? You can. It's going to blow up Meld. Um... Yeah, probably still gonna do it. This may be the only thing that helps keep Charlie Sheen alive. And Tiger with an actually good strike there. He drove that one square down the fairway and for once it, uh... I'm on it, Commander. Right down the pipe. Good velocity. That, uh, looked pretty solid there. You know what? I think we're gonna have Tara Reed hunker down. Ah, she'll right just go on Overwatch. That's Scanning. fine. J-Lo. Overwatch is good for you as well. Um, Lindsay. Moving to position. Maybe Overwatch? Overwatch? What do you say? Rat, why don't you take cover behind that tree? Actually, we should have John Rat Leguizamo throw a smoker there. Would have been much, much wiser idea. Oh, uh, you know what? Amanda Bynes is just going to kill the one sectoid we can see anyway. So that's fine. Oh, uh, well, perhaps she's going to kill him. Perhaps not. This is a bad shot. Nicely done, Amanda Bynes. Of all the things you could have done, that was possibly the least useful. He's going to mine merge. And then that guy's gonna move and get killed by a proximity mine, so that we get two with one stone. Is that is that what's gonna happen here? Oh, he's just gonna go on Overwatch. That guy's gonna shoot at Tiger Woods. He must not be able to see Charlie Sheen. Major damage detected. Mine fray for Tiger, but it doesn't matter. The damage is already done. Uh, Tiger can set that off himself, actually, and his hit percentage is gonna be completely irrelevant when he sets it off because. Uh, apparently the grenade does not benefit... Oh, it must be... Okay. Never mind. The grenade just has the reduced launch distance because he is suppressed, so... Tara Reed's gonna advance. This is strictly to get lightning reflexes. That's all we're looking for here. She'll probably pop those outsiders while she's at it because it's Tara Reed. <sighs> Tara Reed's motto is don't just fail, fail spectacularly. Uh, it didn't didn't pop a pod. That's affirmative. So all the Overwatch is drawn. Oh, missed some. Tiger Woods managing a dodge. I'm not sure that's a dodge so much as inside. There are the outsiders. Well, we were waiting for them to show up. Hmm. Well, at this point, if we can grenade the sectoids, we can. All right, we're just gonna grenade the sectoids. That's fine. It'll also destroy that guy's cover probably. So, there's a whole shitload of dead sectoids, and we exploded a meld canister, which has unfortunate side effects, but it's not really a game breaker or anything. Nicki Minaj has shots from here? She sure does. Just real bad ones. Let's just have Nikki move. Nikki can move and fire. There's no reason to just keep her quite so far away. Let's advance her a little bit, see if we can't get a slightly better shot. Well, we can, just the, not necessarily the target we were aiming for, but that looks like... 
Nikki's not dicking around. She's just gonna go straight up for the kill. It's gonna be a mind fray from Tara Reed here. Much better chance to mind fray this outsider than she had against Johnny Sectoy there. So that's some psychic EXP for Tara Reed, who, of course, still bucking for that whole volunteer gig. Now that he's mind frayed, can we panic him too? We sure can. That's gonna let Lindsay Lohan get a psychic power off. So that outsider is now panicked. The other one is dead, which just leaves one sectoid as the complete and sum total of the enemy's offensive abilities. Understood. Moving out. And I think Amanda Bynes actually probably has a reasonable chance to kill a sectoid. Uh, it's not good, but I would call 47% reasonable. Not reasonable enough, clearly, but it is Amanda Bynes. When has reason ever factored into anything she has done? I mean... Think about it. Think about position. it. I may be onto something there. Dr. General Mr. Jiggles isn't exactly a, a sort of sane development that... Wait, wait, wait. There's another guy? Oh, there sure enough is. We could kill the panic guy. Not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna shoot this guy instead. Or rather shoot at him to no effect. It's alright. Gene continues to disappoint both himself and his family. You're, you're a... A discredit to your species, sir. Then again, I'm not exactly terrified of sectoids. I mean, come on, it's sectoids. We've been fighting these guys since the first mission, and we've enjoyed success with as little as some rookies with bad weapons. Also, it's this is clearly a psychic fight. All right, then. That's how you want to play it, sectoids? We'll, we'll go Psy on Psy for you. I don't care. We'll, we'll make this a total psychic engagement. Charlie Sheen's movement badly reduced by the fact that uh, he got mind frayed. His aim's also going to be garbage water, too, just as a result. Uh, Tara Reed. You know what? Why don't you see if you can flush shot that guy and push him out so that Charlie Sheen can shoot him in the mouth? Yeah, it wasn't a hit, but it was still useful. JLo has a shot. Bad shot. Let's have Charlie move. We can have JLo throw a grenade at that outsider. Amanda Bynes, what can you see? You have one unit. Well, that's your only shot. You may as well take it. It's terrible, but you may as well take it. We really need a heavy plasma rifle so that we can build a sniper rifle and make these snipers we have useless. I mean, we have two Master Sergeant snipers, and I can't ever take them anywhere because they just don't get anything done. Let's just have Charlie Sheen shoot this guy in the back. Amazing. Amazing. Who are you saying is a load of bull, Charlie Sheen? You're the one who missed. You also then did terrible damage. I mean, I understand that you're mind frayed, but I don't really feel that's necessarily an, a, an excuse. Oh, well, Alright, it is an excuse. It's just a bad excuse. Um, go ahead and mind fray, actually. We're gonna have Lindsay Lohan take the cheap psychic EXP while we can. These abilities have cooldowns, and I don't think this mission is gonna last long enough for either of our psychic units to, to get off another ability, necessarily. Roger. Bring Leguizamo up and have him use his power too, because it's on cooldown, there's no reason to just leave it. Now, while mine merge, these guys are going to be basically immune to this shit. Yeah, 52%. That's okay. We get credit for using it whether or not it works. I think we get more EXP if it worked. Also, it worked, so, hey. The power of John Leguizamo's mind is uh, unstoppable. It simply cannot be thwarted. Give bad shots, Tiger Woods. Moving out. What can you do with the grenade here? Not even get a kill? That's gonna go on top of the ship. That's fantastic shooting, Tiger Woods. Just kill that guy before he gets unpanicked. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Uh, just sprint up to there, it's fine. J-Lo! J-Lo can get a kill here. I I'm betting she is smart enough to throw a grenade inside as opposed to on top of an alien aircraft. This is not going to garner a kill, by the way. That guy's way too much health. Okay, perhaps not way too much, but still too much. We could go for a capture on a sector. We've got one injured enough. Also, we could mind frame the chunks. We have enough available psychic power here. Taking fire over here! Do we have uh, a capture trooper sort of in range? If Charlie Sheen's uh, negative mind... Well, I was going to say if his mind fray wears off, we will, but... Say la vie. Jack's just going to reload. Where's Tara Reed? Let's do this. Amanda Bynes going to reload. She has lock and load now, so she can still shoot. 
And I shot the wrong unit, of course. This will hit. Yeah. Kill confirmed. So there goes our capture, but uh, it's a sectoid. Does it really matter? Also, I don't think we have a, a unit in position. Yeah, Terra Reed's too far away anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Just kill him. Nicki Minaj, just grease this guy. Let's end this shit. This is... Thanks, Nikki. Glad we brought you. Credit to the team. Other such things. That we don't want to get a kill with Lindsay Lohan. She doesn't need experience. We could have Charlie Sheen run and gun. Oh, Sheen already went and reloaded. Let's just have JLo get a kill. That's fine. JLo still needs experience. It's going to have to be done with a grenade if we want the guarantee, and we want the guarantee, so. Grenade it is. JLo slinging a butt bomb at him. She dropped that ass right on his head. And Operation Bloody Shroud, a complete success. We didn't get a capture, which I suppose could have made the mission better, but I don't exactly need plasma pistols, so it's not a huge coup. And uh, I don't recall any recent offers for someone to trade for live sectoids. You get more offers for corpses than you do for living ones. So a couple things we are going to do before the episode ends. I'm going to go build a couple more satellites. Mostly because I have I'm cash and nothing to do with it. So far, especially considering the conditions down there. Sure, Dr. Shan, it was one of the easiest missions we've had in recent memory, but um, you know, I'm glad you're impressed. Are you also impressed when I get up in the morning and manage to put my pants on without falling over? Because if you're impressed by this mission, that also seems like something you would find remarkable. Holy crap, did you see that guy? He actually managed to fork a spoonful of cereal into his mouth without stabbing himself in the eye. We need to recruit that man immediately. Uh, uh, Dr. Shen is just baffling. Alright, so there goes a uh, damaged crap. We'll get rid of that junk. And we'll head down to the engineering, engineering facilities. This morning, yeah, yeah, you got engineers from somewhere. And nobody cares but you, Dr. Shen. Literally no one. I'm going to build three of these. Two to launch, and uh, one is back up in case one gets shot down, which at this point seems reasonably unlikely, actually. Why can't we build an EMP cannon? We don't have enough flaring. I didn't want to build one, I was just curious. We could build another Firestorm. What does this take? It takes an arc thrower. I have one I don't usually use. I did say I wanted to build one of those, and I was when I said it, I, I did indeed mean it, actually. I was interested in doing it. How come I can't build a fusion lance? Out of curiosity. It seems like I should be able to build a fusion lance because I know that I have uh, the right parts for it. Oh, that's the punch thing. You know, I think I'm actually going to build that. I am going to build it. It takes 15 of our available lyrium alloys. We have tons of. Meld, I have more than I need. We have an extra arc thrower. No reason to not do it. Let's Let's just start it. That's fine. Build that, build some satellites. Everybody's happy, except for me, because I had to interact with Dr. Shen, but I guess I don't count. So. All right, no other maintenance tasks to do. Mission successful. Psychic EXP for everyone. That uh, that was the one thing we did accomplish there in that small UFO. We did manage to get psychic EXP for basically all our troopers. And that I want to check very quickly and see if that's enough that Lindsay Lohan can go for another promotion. Is she maxed out? Yep, so we can put Mad Lindsay back in the tank as soon as she's unfatigued. Excellent. That's good. All right, then. Well, successful, successful little show. So I said it was going to be a shit show, and, it, you know, it still was. But at least it was a successful shit show in that, you know, it delivered the shit. And I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more daily XCOM, consider subscribing as well. We'll see you again soon.